Hi, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm a Hail Empath, and I just like to have these little talks on the way I feel about things. I'm pretty blissed out right now. I just did a nice med meditate state for about an hour, 20 minutes or so. I like to go in between the space, the space in between, you know, all the things, all the space that we aren't. It's where I go. It's where the data is. That's where the information is, you know, like phone wires, pulses, frequency, vibration. And all the things that that, that 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 people aren't, things aren't, you know. The heart space, it's lining up with the the head, the guts, you know. All the chakras are bring. DNA is chiming in. It's the soul soup is really simmering now. There's this uh, spiritual uh, revolution just happening. It's coming out to play, so to speak. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I think people are figuring out that they have one. They're just not a human, you know, that, that, that they're seeing how closely directed, directly people are related, you know, everybody is impacted by some kind of action, you know, and, and I love watching the story play out. I've been waiting for it for, for since the, the great American eclipse, because, Eclipses signify things, solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, they all have sig significance. I follow a lot of astrology and they've all been telling this story, you know, people are going to be made to go within and here we are. I started on the boat about, on the this, uh, I, I, I started the, the go within when the universe said uh, that it had different plans for me about three years ago is when it started for me, so... You know, there's a lot of people like me that it's just another day. It's just another day, you know. Uh, I was thinking about, um, you know, not only people are coming into the belief or, or the knowing or the recognition that they everyone has a spirit. People are also coming into the um, knowing, belief, if they care or not, and they're really finding out who they serve, you know, who, who are they, who do people serve? Talking about this for a while, too, I haven't had a Subway sandwich since they freaking endorsed my dog killers back in 10 years ago. Yeah, it's, I don't, I don't do business with companies that are, you know, that are shady, and I don't know any huge business that's not shady, so that, that for me makes it real easy to try and keep it local you know hey I used to be right slam smack in the middle of mainstream um, yeah, IT tech positions all you know is my career is my job go where I want do what I want pretty much have all the freedoms of the world single you know mom live with me but she could take care of herself now she can't but she could then you know, just nothing, you know, just, I could, and I would go out and buy stuff just because I could. And slowly, slowly, things started getting stripped away. When I moved out to Oregon, the rest of my 3D identity was put on <laughs> ice, so to speak. I got to chill out. I really came into my knowing, and I know who I serve. I serve the light. A lot of people don't serve the light, man. If Think about it. If 51% 51 of the world's population serve the light, which I believe is love, not fear, it's faith. All those higher vibrational feelings. If, 50, if the world had 51% more of that, do you think it would be the way it is? No. So, all the lower vibrational vibrations have been winning for, you know, for this, 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 last while and it's gotten to a peak that it's just absurd you know we're all spirits having a human experience and there's entirely too many the numbers of people of refugees and the people that have had just freaking crappy lives man just just because their parents saw, just from just because they were born into the situation that they're born into you know that you gotta have a crap life but these other people over here because of the who they were born into get to freaking never understand what it's like to struggle at all and so all of this all of it it's all the justice injustice fair unfair that ain't right you know all the people that have freaking 
You know, hey, and this time I just gotta be patient. That's all. That's the only chance I have because I'm Hayoka. So if there's a misa if there's a misogynistic asshole, there's a freaking jerk in the mix, and they're in a position of authority. They're gonna they're gonna do something to make an example out of me. That's what they do because I'm a strong female character, and that's just what people do. They like to put people in their place to establish dominance, power, control. You know, and I just you know, so I've always just kind of got taken what I can get because people freaking feel like they can designate what I can have. You know, and a lot of these like like I don't have poverty mentality. I think I'm freaking rich, man. I think I'm rich because I got my I, I, my mom and I have a relationship now. And there's so many people in the world that freaking don't have a relationship. There's so I know so many people that freaking just soon let their parents live on the street and never speak to them again because of things that happened 10, 15, 20 years ago. But what they're finding out is how hard it is to navigate in this life by yourself. And so they're facing things that their parents face and they're like coming into some understanding, maybe if they're coming from a heart space. If they're 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 living for, for light and not for for freaking ego, you know. That's that's the biggest division I see is love and light is is ego living from heart, you know? And and they're just you, you can tell people who live from their heart. You can tell. You know who they are and they're few and far between, you know. And um and I was thinking earlier in my meditate state uh that I was doing a little while ago about uh, Another thing, like, uh, what what are people serving? You know, the, uh, okay, um, a lot of people, the, the, see, because we haven't even gotten to the hard part yet. We're only, what, 10 days into, you know, people being grounded. Now people have to look at themselves. Now people are, are looking, you know, are, are, are asking themselves those existential questions of, like, what's this all about? What's it all for? And they're starting to look at it. You know, their, their, their path is is beginning and and they're gonna you know start thinking of uh when people do, can't get out and 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 do their regular scheduled programming all the energy that they have using to do their every daily things they they still have it that energy is still somewhere now they have extra energy springs coming into play the sun's gonna start coming out it's gonna start warming up people are gonna get extra energy so all this you know, that's why they have sports, you know, after a long winter, they put kids in sports, use up all their extra energy, you know, but now people don't have an outlet, so people are really going to start seeing who they serve. Are they going to start acting out, you know, what we're supposed to be doing, what we're always supposed to be doing is is creating, and if we're going to create from a place of love, we're going to be all right. If you're going to create, you know, out of a place to make money, and, and all that other stuff, then you just aren't there yet. Go back out, learn some more, or go back in within, learn some more about yourself, and then try again in a little while. There's a clear division of what's going on here, you know? I'm sick of selfish people. I'm freaking so tired of selfish people. I'm tired of it, you know? And, 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 and we, a lot of the reasons why we're in the positions that we are is because so many people have been selfish for so long. And there are people who are going to start figuring out about karma and things like that. And, and they're going to, you know, either they're going to learn the lessons that they're supposed to learn in this life or they're not. But how is that going to, how is that going to impact you? How is that going to direct your, your, your course of action, you know? You, you come into a jerk because the people haven't even started being jerks yet. We're only starting to get the trickles of the domestic violence shooting up. It hasn't even gotten to be summer yet because, yeah, yeah, what people don't understand is the world is never is not going to go back to the way it was. Just like September 11, you know, these pre-events that have happened before, yeah, things will relax and, 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 and things like that, but things will never be like it was before. The earth has changed and now people are going to go through the stages of grief and they don't even realize it it's just how it is it's because your energy field knows that the earth is no longer the way it was it no you know and that's how energy is is energy reads you know you walk into a room if the people are mostly scared and you're all of a sudden you're just like what's going on it's because you're picking up on the energy but some people like me our energy is so powerful you know i walk into a room where people are scared 
I walk in and I start dancing around going, what are people scared about? What are you scared about? Ain't nothing to be scared about. Dance around, enjoy life. Raises their vibration up out of fear. And then people are less inclined to be shifty and shady at other people. That's how it works. Energy works. Want to hear more of my talks about energy? Got like 940 of them. Hope you have a rad day. Peace.